Hey guys, it is Damira here from lifewithbw.com. Welcome back to the Millennial Farmhouse. Thank you for joining me on my channel for another episode of DW's Daily Dose. This is just an opportunity to sit back, relax, enjoy your favorite cup of coffee, and check out some of my videos. In today's episode of DW's Daily Dose, I will be decorating my summer coffee bar. All right. I decided that for my summer coffee bar, I would go with a European theme. And so I have some decor items that give off Italian and French vibes. I will try to link whatever I can in the description box below, but I did get quite a few of the items from my local dollar store as well as some local thrift stores. However, if I can find something similar, again, I will make sure to put that in the description box below. Before we get started with decorating, I am just going to take this moment to tell you a little bit about the coffee I am drinking today. And this is your opportunity to go and grab your favorite cup of coffee or whatever you plan to drink for this video. So the coffee I'm drinking is called Honduras The Lost City, and it is a medium roast. I like medium roast coffees because it's not too bitter, but it's still strong enough to give you that coffee flavoring. And this has some hints of um, maple syrup and it's a little bit sweet. Now I did brew this coffee hot, um, but it is the summertime and I like to drink iced coffee in the summer. So typically what I'll do is make a decent sized pot of hot coffee. And then for my individual cups, I'll just pour in some milk and ice to cool it down. Um, and whatever I don't drink from the pot, I like to store in the refrigerator overnight so that I'll have some iced coffee ready to go in the morning. And then just a side note, in case you saw my coffee grinder, if you were paying attention to that, it is Cafe. Um, you can find it online and in a few select stores. And it is just a nice compact coffee grinder that I do recommend. Mine was a gift from one of my aunts. All right, and so I'm pouring my coffee here again. Um, this is a medium roast coffee that I brewed hot and I like to drink ice. So to cool it down, I'm adding in a few ice cubes and then I'm gonna add in some 1% milk. And for flavoring, I added in a little bit of mocha coffee syrup, um, but I tried not to just put straight sugar into my coffee. And it is delicious, you guys. It's just what I needed to do this. We are just going to do a very quick coffee refill. So I ground up some more coffee and I'm putting it in this coffee jar that I got from my local dollar store. And then you'll see in a moment that I put the beans into a different jar. That jar I have two different lids for and I got it from at home. Now it makes it easier to access my coffee but it also just is beautiful to look at when I decorate my coffee bar. Next, I wanted to add in a little snack, so I have a very tiny mason jar, so cute. And I got some crunchy um, roasted lentils from at home, not from at home, from Home Goods. And um, it was just one of those specialty snacks that they had, and I thought it looked interesting, so I wanted to try it. And this cute little dish gives me Italian vibes, especially with those beautiful bright colors. Um, and I thought it would be perfect to add in candies for my coffee bar. And that dish was from one of my local thrift stores. And then here I'm just adding in some mocha coffee syrup. The syrup was from Home Goods as well, and I'd like to get my syrups from there because they're decently priced and you get a lot of the coffee syrup. All right, we are going to get decorating with this coffee bar. So first, I am just hanging up this coffee bar sign, and I got this from at home. I thought it would be perfect for a European-themed coffee bar. Now, as you can see, the hanging sign is made of wood, but the stand or the frame that it is on is this very rusted metal, and I thought that that was perfect. It gives off um, raw iron, 
feelings when you look at it and so I thought that was perfect for a European coffee bar and then I am moving over to hanging up some wall tiles these tiles I got from Goodwill so unfortunately I definitely won't be able to link them but they are beautiful you guys they have a little bit of weight behind them they're very thick and they're even um, 3d so the coffee pots that are on each of the tiles actually rise up off of the tile I like them because not only do they look beautiful but they give a lot of texture and on each of these tiles it says things like uh, cafe um, mocha vanilla uh, creme things like that and I believe these tiles are actually um, have French writing on them maybe one has Italian and I think the other two have some French writing on them but I thought they were perfect for a European coffee bar um, not only in what they're saying but how they look and feel and just the colors that they're giving off so I'm doing my best to line them up and you will see me pressing hard into the tiles as well as into the coffee bar sign because I can't drill holes into the walls so I am using some command tape and I just want to make sure everything is on there and won't fall off. And now we are going to move into decorating my coffee cart. If this is your first time seeing one of my um, coffee bar decorating videos, then you won't know, but I've had this white cart for about five to six years. I had a very, very small studio apartment and I needed some pantry space in my kitchen. And so I just got this cart from Walmart. Um, it has been with me for quite a while and it is on its last legs, but I'm going to use it until I can't anymore. So it has four baskets or shelves on it and each basket um, ha as you can see has wires with gaps in between. So whenever I decorate the coffee bar I like to put down kitchen towels because they give the appearance of a solid shelf but they also provide some stability for the items I'm putting on the cart. So on that bottom shelf, I just put down some utilitarian items as I always do on the bottom shelf. And in this case, it was the lids for my mason jars, my coffee filters. Um, I did put some snacks down there as well. And then usually an extra mug or two. And then I moved up to the third shelf on the coffee bar. And I am just trying to figure out the placement of putting these cute little espresso cups as well as some flowers and then some decorative items. I got the um, wooden uh, cutting board from Target and the coaster was from one of my local thrift stores. Now I thought those together were very very cute and I wanted them to be standing upright so behind them you'll see a piece of metal and that's actually the stand that holds my uh, espresso cups. Throughout uh, this decorating of the coffee bar, you will see me play around a lot with things. I do move from shelf to shelf to shelf to shelf over and over again, just because I wanted to get things looking as best as they possibly could. So on this second shelf here, I did put some hot cocoa. Um, even though it's summer, I always have hot cocoa on my coffee bar year round. Um, and because that's just I'll randomly be in the mood for it and so I just want to make sure I always have some and then I have those oven mitts there they're beautiful uh, yellow oven mitts with some lemons on them and I got those from at home if you can't see a theme with the colors going on here let me just spell it out for you it is yellow um, when I was thinking of doing a European themed coffee bar but also a summer coffee bar Yellow just came to mind because it's so bright and welcoming, and so I thought that would be a nice um, main color for my coffee bar here. It also happened to work out that things like the little candy dish um, and some of the mugs I'm using have pops of yellow in them, so it really seemed to all tie together. I had to play around with the placement of um, a lot of the items quite a bit because I have a lot of space to fill in and I'm using really small items 
um, for this coffee bar and so I didn't want to leave so much dead space and in order to avoid that I really had to pack some things in and constantly shift things just to make sure they worked on each shelf. As I move up here to the top shelf, uh, you can see this beautiful coffee menu sign and that is just a metal sign that I got from Amazon. And I have that coffee jar with the uh, silver lid that was for my local dollar store, but I thought that that was the perfect size jar to keep ground coffee in. And I also want to mention, you'll see some yellow flowers there that I'm moving around. The bottle that they're in was actually a Starbucks cold brew bottle. And I had those drinks and once I was done I saw those as an opportunity to use them as bosses um, and so I didn't throw them out I just cleaned them out and they worked perfectly for this coffee bar because the color of those bottles happened to really go with a lot of the other items I was using and then I just placed a necklace on the coffee menu sign and that necklace um, was pearls and so that was giving me a, um, a French <laughs> feeling uh, and so I thought that that was just a cute little add-on. You can see me moving stuff around a lot especially on this top shelf because the top shelf is typically the first thing I'll look at and I just want to get it perfect or as perfect as I can for me you know. So a lot of the colors I have here, as you can see, I have different metals, some rose gold, um, some browns, and then some silver and grays, and, and then again a lot of the yellow. And in putting all of this together, some of the colors were clashing, um, and so in order to avoid a lot of clashing, what I like to do is things that have similar colors and tones, I will stagger on the cart. So instead of putting all silver or gray items on the top shelf, I put, as you can see, the coffee canister had a silver lid and that was on the top shelf left side. And then on the second shelf in the middle, I put the jar with um, a silver lid just to sort of keep all of the same colors away from each other so that it doesn't look too odd, if that makes sense. So again, I like to stagger things, um, and then that way you get an even mix of some colors on each of the shelves as well. And so again, this is the jar here I was just talking about with that um, silver lid. That was actually a rose gold lid earlier, but I switched it out for the silver one because of the rose gold was just blending a little bit too much with the other things around it. And finally, I am doing some final touches on the coffee bar. And final touches usually include moving things around, um, sticking in any cords that are hanging off, moving a spoon from one side to another, just so that when I look at this coffee bar as a whole, it makes sense. And I think that's it. <laughs> Alright guys, so here is the reveal of my European summer coffee bar. Again, it does go into a bit of an odd corner. For now, um, while I was filming, it was not pushed into that corner, but it will be later. However, as you can see here, I went with a European summer vibe. So I have some yellows, rose golds. Um, there's even quite a bit of black on this coffee bar, which is really working for me. But as you can see, it looks bright and with the Italian and uh, French inspiration, I feel like this looks like a very fancy um, summer coffee bar. And so I am very, very happy with how it turned out. And then this is just a little bit of a close up so you can get a better picture of what each shelf looks like. I am absolutely loving how this coffee bar turned out. Again, I used items from my local dollar store and thrift store, as well as some um, main retailers that you guys may already know. And I will try to link everything I can in the description box below. 
don't you just feel the French and Italian vibes rolling off of this coffee bar? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Life with DW, the Millennial Farmhouse, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.